Buongiorno and welcome to the Conflict Specialist Show. I'm Dave Hilton, your host. Now my guest today is Alessandro Bruni, the founder and current board member of Concilia Conflict Management and ADR in Rome, Italy. Now he is an attorney and IMI certified professional mediator and arbitrator and teaches mediation and conciliation at the International Academy of Sciences of Peace in Rome. He has also served as the president of the Italian chapter of Mediators Beyond Borders. Alessandro, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Nice to meet you and very compliments for your pronunciation. Uh, they, in I, Italian, tried, yes. in Italian. I, know. <laughs> I usually mess it up, so I'm getting better every day. Fantastic. Uh, let's start by having you tell us a little bit more about your educational and professional background prior to becoming a mediator. Yeah. I studied law, so I studied jurisprudence, and uh, I studied in, in an international university uh, based in Rome, here in Rome, uh, the Lewis University that is well uh, known. After this, I went to Cambridge to have some studies uh, for my thesis, and during my, uh, my permanence in Cambridge, I uh, appreciated very much uh, some ADR studies. And here, uh, there in Cambridge, I became a uh, very uh, supporter uh, of ADR techniques. Even if during my university I was trained in uh, arbitration and mediation too. Uh, after my return in Italy, uh, I decided with other uh, other colleagues to uh, yes to to see if the market were. Um, uh, was uh, ready to 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 host some ADR experience, and uh, with others I founded a Concilia. That uh, yes, thanks to God, <laughs> thanks to the works done, uh, now it's one of the yes one of the oldest and one of the uh, well known and well recognized ADR provider uh, providing services of uh, mediation and arbitration and uh, so consultancy in these two fields and providing uh, trainings uh, all over Italy and abroad too. Uh, so uh, this uh, is my uh, background. I uh, came from a technician study, study so uh, scientific um, liceum and after this, I went to university, and after that, uh, I went to uh, some ADR trainings all over Europe. And I returned in Italy. Uh, I spent uh, some time in uh, the U.S. Uh, and in the U.S.A. to uh, to study all these te technologies. And um, now I'm very proud to be one of the first Italian ADR provider accredited by the Italian Ministry of Justice. Uh, so providing uh, training services accredited by the ministry and providing mediation, uh, civil and commercial, uh, also uh, under the umbrella of the Ministry of Justice, of the Italian Ministry of Justice. So I know you do a lot of work and a lot of different kinds of training, but are there any specific industries that you feel are your areas of specialization in dispute resolution or mediation? Yeah, um, I need to react as not also as a mediator, but also as a, a manager. Because in Concilia, we uh, so uh, we we are, we see every day many many different uh, kind of mediation, from civil to commercial to uh, yes to intellectual property problems or disputes to condominium disputes to banking and financial. So uh, I have a, vis a general vision. Because I am like a bridge uh, with uh, the yes the headquarter of Concilia in Rome and the other secondary offices uh, spread all over Italy and we have many many connection uh, with the north and the south the east and the west of the world uh, in which we can uh, mediate uh, for transnational cases so uh, I'm a very complete vision but if I need to ch to choose a, a, a field. Uh, yes, I am prepared in commercial and in, in industrial uh, mediation and arbitration, and I am a very, very um, how can I say? I am very, very uh, good, or they say that I am good in sports law too. So I provide services of mediation and negotiation in sports disputes uh, all around Italy. So uh, these are my three. Uh, 
preferable fields if you if I need to to say any but uh, I have mediated many many hundreds of cases uh, of civil and civil and commercial uh, cases so I can say yes uh, I have a percentage more in a field or in another uh, yeah um, in Italy uh, I have uh, tried many many different kinds of uh, issues or problems uh, trying to solve in mediation and arbitration procedures so can you give us some examples of the types of mediation and dispute resolution training that you provide? Yeah, uh, to provide uh, or to, to train uh, the, the, the future mediators, uh, the future civil and commercial mediators, uh, a company in Italy has to be accredited by the Ministry of Justice, as, as I said before. We are, uh, we are accredited since 2007. Because before uh, there wasn't law, so <laughs> we we was one of the first. We uh, was born in 1999. So since uh, that period to 2004, there was uh, not a Ministry of Justice providing an, um, a control uh, as an umbrella on uh, the ADR centers uh, in Italy. After this date, the uh, the legislators. Uh, came uh, or uh, organized uh, some laws um, was inspired by the problem uh, on how to how to uh, yeah how to uh, to have a control upon all these uh, ADR providers so now we have uh, an accreditation for to mediate and mm -hmm. accreditation for to train um, about the training, if you want to become in Italy a uh, accredited mediator, civil and commercial, you need to uh, attend a minimum uh, a 50 minimum hours of training course, um, organized in generally speaking, organized in six days. Mm. Uh, after this, uh, you can um, ask to a maximum of five um, ADA providers. Uh, public and or private the accreditation so uh, an, an accredited mediator is accredited by an, a private or a public body mm -hmm. and after this accreditation may act as mediator not before so uh, I cannot uh, mediate in my uh, legal office uh, even if I am a lawyer, I am an arbitrator, a mediator, an expert mediator, I cannot mediate because I need to have an accreditation by a public or private body. So we provide for this. We provide for the training, a correct training before, and after uh, we provide for uh, a certain sort of, um, how can I say, filter or a filtering in order to keep the best mediator uh, trained by us or by uh, other uh, very few <laughs> uh, training uh, accredited uh, body. Um, after this uh, first course, we provide um, some um, refreshment course. Uh, these courses are obliged, uh, are mandatory. Uh, so um, every two years, the mediator has to be uh, refreshed uh, by uh, these uh, training courses, and we provide for this too. After this, if you want to specialize in a field, you uh, need to know that uh, there are many, many different kind of courses uh, in which you can attend, uh, can, that you can attend. Uh, for instance, we are the ADR training company, unique in Italy, that uh, are providing, are organizing a course of sport mediation. Hmm. You know, we have uh, one of the best champion she is a female, she is a partner of Concilia, uh, she is a, an Italian champion of Taekwondo, that is, uh, as you know, an art, uh, Olympic uh, martial art, mm -hmm. and she is a mediator, and she is a very, very uh, important training trainer in uh, sports and mediation, so we provide for this, mm, this is an example, naturally, we have many, many other uh, training courses, but uh, if you want to become a mediator, the minimum uh, is to attend a 50 hours training course accredited by an ADR accredited body. So if I were, if a company that happens to have an office in, in, let's say here in Texas, and also had an office there in Rome, before I could be brought over there to mediate an issue, I would need to go through an accreditation process through a company like yours before I could do it, even though I have 
well over 50 hours of training? Yeah, so I need to explain. Uh, when I said, when I said uh, accredited by a Ministry of Justice or something like this, uh, I, I was referred to uh, Italian questions. So the law provides only uh, for Italian uh, disputes between two Italians. Uh, if you are a uh, Texanian or, <laughs> or if you are an Italian, you can uh, decide to uh, yes, to to be uh, to try to to try a mediation uh, with uh, some different uh, rules of law. For instance, the ICC laws of mediation, mm. or the ICA uh, laws, or the New York Convention laws. So you are not obliged to do this. But ah. if you are Italian and if you want to execute uh, the minutes of mediation in Italy, mm. so if you want, if you need to to have a we say titolo esecutivo. That is a, a sentence sort of, um, so if you want to render binding your I minutes, see. it's necessary uh, to, to, to have a mediation accredited in this way. Uh, by the way, uh, when a Ministry of Justice um, practice the control upon some bodies like Concilia, uh, this can be regarded as the necessary uh, level uh, of quality and so even if you came from uh, the US or Australia or something like this, you can be sure that an accredited body is better than a non-accredited body. Hmm. Moreover, um, personally, I am IMI certified mediator. Mm -hmm. You know that IMI is the International Mediation Institute. Mm -hmm. In Italy, uh, accredited by the IMI, we are only three persons. So wow. only three professionals. I, I am the second of two. So I was the second. Mm. Um, and we, as Concilia, are on the route to have the accreditation to be a quality assessment program for IMI. So to accredit uh, the mediators from all over Italy uh, with the requirements of the IMI. So uh, yes, if you choose an organization as Concilia, you can be sure that even if we are not American or even if we are not Australian or even if we are not, I, I think so, uh, Germany, uh, German people, uh, we have the same standards of the others and this can be considered the, the, the superior quality, uh, the best of all. Now, while I was researching uh, to talk to you today, I came across a two-part article that you wrote a couple of years ago that was posted up on Mediate.com. Now, yeah. you mentioned yeah. in the, that two-part article uh, how some legal and attorney organizations were against the use of mediation in Italy. So have things gotten worse or better? Unfortunately, uh, I'm a lawyer, but I need to dissociate, so I need to go, uh, how can I say, uh, yes, I cannot say they are good or they have done a good, uh, a good thing, a good work. Uh, why this? Because many, many lawyers in Italy uh, were in the past and now uh, they are against mediation mm -hmm. because they can say uh, they, they are saying that mediation is a nonsense uh, but I think that is more a loss of power you mm -hmm. know a loss of power mm -hmm. and a loss of money and a loss of clients and for these reasons they uh, fight it uh, in the past years uh, and this uh, current year, uh, current year, they fight it against mediation, and they uh, they organize many many strikes. Uh, you you need to know that my friends of Mediators Beyond Borders International, when they have the notice uh, of the strikes of, of the Italian lawyers, they uh, wrote me many many emails uh, saying me, Alessandro, do you want to help? Uh, we can come in Italy uh, to Italy uh, for free in order to help you to to solve the question. And uh, they had uh, the same. Uh, they were they were uh, in the same way empathic, mm. like uh, during uh, four or five years ago. I don't remember where uh, uh, the city of L'Aquila in the center of Italy was destroyed by an earthquake. Mm. You know, they had the same feelings uh, in the past, and they uh, represent. They uh, resent me the same uh, way of feelings. Uh, in order to come in Italy and to, to, to provide for this. What, what's happened? Uh, up, uh, there, there were um, 
many many uh, tribunal that came uh, in disorder uh, with mediation because they say that mediation is unconstitutional, mediation is not the right solution and something like this. Uh, in December of the last year, the constitutional, the Italian constitutional court uh, said in a sentence, in a, in a tribunal decision, that mediation is unconstitutional. Mm. What kind of mediation? Not mediation in, a, in the sense, in the general sense, but the uh, mandatory attempt of mediation mm. is unconstitutional. Why? Not in general, because you know that we have an EU directive that uh, leaves uh, the, the state members um, free to uh, apply mandatory or uh, voluntary attempt of mediation. Uh, the problem was that the Italian government exceeded in the delegation. Mm. So uh, the parliament gave to the government a delegation. Uh, the government exceeded in the delegation uh, saying that uh, attempt of mediation in certain uh, matters, in certain problems, uh, were um, mandatory. Uh, for this, the Constitutional Court said that uh, for this exceed of delegation, the government exceed on the delegation and the mandatory mediation is uh, now uh, unconstitutional. This, uh, this decision uh, created a very um, disastrous things or disastrous, um, uh, was disastrous for Italians market, for the Italian market of mediation. Mm -hmm. um, so many, many lawyers were happy for this, but many others, good mediators, were not happy for this. So now we are in a crucial situation because we are one of the, maybe we are the only, the unique state member of the European uh, 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 yes, the European countries that have not a uh, complete law upon mediation, upon civil and commercial mediation, mm. where in the past we were uh, we was one of the first European states to uh, yes to recognize the EU directive on civil and commercial transnational mediations. So it's a con it's a controversial situation. Uh, and now we have only voluntary attempt of mediation in civil and commercial matter, and we are fighting, uh, in a certain sense, fighting uh, for the uh, reconstruction of the market. And uh, we hope that in a few months, after the new government, uh, we can uh, recreate a market in which uh, we will have uh, attempt of mediation mandatory because we saw that if mediation in Italy is not mandatory in, in the attempt naturally uh, it, it is not so uh, hard it is not so um, I can I say it is not so um, it's a question of uh, of belief about mediation because we are we are a population in which the tribunal the process is uh, is at the first stage, you know. So uh, the changement uh, and the idea of a multi-door courthouse—it's uh, very, very low to become, you know. So we need to, uh, with very uh, patience uh, and patience, you know, <laughs> we need to uh, to to spread the notice uh, from the the population to the managers and that so on. Uh, but uh, the decision of the constitutional court. Uh, break the mark, broke the markets of mediation, and the numbers of mediation all over Italy uh, now are very, very low, uh, very, very lower uh, compa if compared to uh, the past two years. So this is can be considered a problem. Does the law allow for uh, mandatory arbitration? Uh, no, uh, because if you uh, want to uh, oblige a person to, to go to an arbitrator, you need to put this clause in a contract. Ah. Uh, so uh, two people or uh, the party and the counterparty can insert in their contract uh, an arbitration clause that has to be signed twice in a contract in order to not be considered, uh, considered uh, as, uh, you know, uh, out of the law, so uh, we haven't uh, mandatory arbitration. Uh, I mean, 
even if uh, the, the, the parties of a contract may oblige uh, themselves to, to go to an arbitrator. And if they want, they can oblige one another to go before a mediator uh, for a little time and after uh, before an arbitrator. So the so-called ARBMED clauses or multi-step multi clauses mm. that we use to put in the contract of our clients, uh, but uh, we are not helped by the law, you know, so we have a lack of law in these ways uh, and we need to, to, to work hardly than in a country in which uh, or where there is a law that provides for these uh, elements, uh, mandatory elements, you know. So I know you've had a lot of experience working internationally, so I wanted to ask you uh, if you could think of any specific ways that the mediation process in Italy differs from that, let's say, here in the United States or even other parts of Europe. Uh, we are Italians, first of all, <laughs> so uh, we need to filter uh, every uh, notions or every uh, everything uh, who is who is coming from the outside. You know, uh, when I was to uh, the U.S. and when I participated to to some seminar in the U.S. or in the uh, in other countries, and I uh, came back in Italy uh, before training uh, this. Uh, the things I have, uh, I had uh, learned, uh, I needed to to filter the, the all, all all the questions, all the things, because uh, the things who uh, which are good for Americans sometimes are not so good for Italians, and we are very very constricted by the law. Uh, we live, as you know, in a civil law system uh, differently from you that live in a. Yes, common law system. So, for us, the only way to uh, to to have a mediation, to have mediation like a steroid, you know, is to uh, create a certain sort of obligation for the attempt of this. Mm -hmm. Because we saw uh, that when the parties are obliged to try to mediate, and they don't want to try, but they are obliged by law, uh, when they sit down and one in front of the other, and they uh, very slowly uh, restart to speak about the problem and to see one another and to to try to find a, a minimum right solution. In a high percentage of cases, uh, they uh, all not not also try to mediate, but they find a solution because uh, in the Mediterranean countries in Italy is. Yes, one of the uh, the first. Uh, we uh, have uh, the culture of negotiation. You know, mm -hmm. so you can negotiate uh, in the street. You can negotiate with your colleague in the your uh, uh, low office or in the office. Uh, there is only a lack. The lack and the gap is uh, the, the f that we need to be forced to try to mediate. Mm. But when we are one in front of another, and a mediator, a professional mediator, well prepared, can uh, react as a bridge between the parties, uh, yes, all the parties, uh, like, a, in a, in a, like two magicians, you know, uh, is an alchemy, is uh, uh, it's like a miracle. They uh, restart to, to, to speak and to, to try to, to find a solution. So. Um, in one word, in Italy, it's really important to recreate a, a certain sort of mandatory mediation uh, or a mandatory attempt of the mediation. And for this, we are working with uh, some uh, legislators that we know, and we have deposited, we have presented some, uh, how can I say, some draft of law, and this draft of law. Uh, be uh, discussed when the government uh, will be created. You know that in Italy we had the elections of uh, the new politicians and they need to be, uh, how can I say, uh, to, to, to take their place and we have some problems in this period because we have not a majority uh, of a party. We have three parties, uh, three uh, parties that are dividing the, the cake, mm -hmm. and uh, it will be not so uh, facile to to have a 
yeah, to have uh, governments uh, in the, yes, in a few time. Maybe we will need to go to the election day again in the future, in the very f near future, maybe not. I hope that the situation will be uh, stably, very, uh, very, uh, how can I say, very secure in a few days. Uh, and after this, uh, we will fight and we will work for the uh, recognition of the mandatory attempt of mediation. That is the unique solution we will have to make mediation as a queen in the system of in judicial management of the disputes. Uh, in a certain sort of idea of a multi-door courthouse, as I said before, in which the opening of the door uh, is not uh, uh, an activity of the lawyer or of the judge, but is an activity of the party. Maybe uh, the lawyer can be the counselor, you know, mm. of, the, of the clients, but he has to be in the second position and so the first position has to be taken by the client, so the real person who feels directly the problem. And this is the, the gap that we can feel now in Italy. So yeah. you talked briefly, you sort of mentioned a couple of the cultural differences. So do you prefer to do full-day mediations or half-day mediations in Italy? Yeah, sure. It depends from the matter. Um, Many, many times I make mm, this, this I, I leave this decision to the parties. Mm. So I say, uh, dear clients or uh, Ms. Rossi and Ms. Brown, if you prefer, we can stop at the end of this middle uh, journey. Uh, we can have a, a lunch or you can reflect in the way to continue the mediation after lunch or not. Uh, so I. My, my mediators and I, we uh, make them free to decide, uh, but in the s when we saw, when we feel, when we see um, a certain sort of, uh, I'm going to say, uh, heavy uh, breath, when the, the climax is not so good or not so good as in the past for uh, continue, so we can impose a, a certain sort of decision, uh, but we are very, very, um, uh, so we keep, we keep attention to the desires of the parties for this. Naturally, when the decision has to be uh, kept uh, very quickly, because if you postpone the meeting, uh, maybe tomorrow, or sorry, maybe today, uh, or uh, the day after mo tomorrow, or during the evening, you are in the morning, when a mediator can see that this can create a problem, uh, because Italians uh, sometimes need to have the solution uh, the more quick as possible, <laughs> so when this problem can rise in the, in, the, in the horizon of the mediator, so a mediator can impose, uh, yes, with his sensibility, uh, with the point of answer. Uh, what do you think about uh, the persecution or, uh, or the stop of this mediation and we can, so we can see in another day, uh, let's tell me your feelings. And so uh, this is the, the there, there is not a cliche. You know, there is not a cliche that I can say, yes, we stop for this, we, per, you, we, we are going to, until the, the end for this other and so on. So uh, we think that the parties are in the center of mediation, also for this decision. Now I also know that you've, uh, you've written several books, would you like to talk about a few of those? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've wrote uh, uh, let me say, let me uh, uh, remember, I wrote 15, 15 wow. uh, books <laughs> on mediation. One of these uh, it was, <laughs> in a lot of time, I say that this book is, mediation is worthwhile, mm. so it's written in Italian. And upon this book, uh, many, many students from my uh, company and from uh, the competitors uh, studied. So I'm very proud about this. This is the second edition of this book. Yes, I wrote many other books with uh, alone or with my colleagues. Mm -hmm. I wrote The Code of Mediation in Italy and Abroad, in which I put 
many many um, mediation um, uh, proceedings uh, rules of uh, of many many different ADR providers all over the world I, uh, I asked for the authorization to republish their uh, rules of law and they gave me um, a route and I wrote many other um, uh, books in different languages as English or as Romanian hmm. uh, the last uh, fatigue, you know, the last <laughs> work in uh, English is this, that is mediation in 16 jurisdictions worldwide. Uh, this book was uh, published by an important uh, press, an important editor, the Getting to the Lift Road, uh, based in London, hmm. and me and my uh, colleague, Michela Sizia, that is a partner, and that is a, she is a, the co-author of this uh, uh, we wrote the Italian chapter, so uh, we uh, were very proud to collaborate, to cooperate uh, with other uh, colleagues all around uh, the world. Another important book I had the uh, opportunity to uh, to co-wrote, uh, to co-write, sorry, is uh, the uh, European book, uh, so the, the book of the European mediators. Um, we had um, a European, uh, I think, a European Commission financed uh, training course in Brussels uh, last year. Um, I, yes, I, I trained uh, in some uh, ADR techniques uh, with others, and uh, every of us, every uh, professor, uh, had to to write his, yes, his. Uh, uh, capital, you know, is chapter, and uh, I had this opportunity, so this book is internationally recognized all around Europe. Uh, yeah, and the future of uh, my work, so I will publish in a few months a book about, uh, this is a disclosure, <laughs> so keep it confidential, please, <laughs> it's not possible naturally, yeah. but I am going to compare the activity of a mediator with the activity of Jesus, so Jesus as a mediator, you know, Interesting. Uh, because there are many, many um, uh, things that are like a mixing, you know, uh, Jesus is the mediator between the population and God, uh, and a mediator is a, a bridge between one party and another. So uh, in the Bible, in the Holy Bible, uh, there are many, many significant uh, passages in which uh, are uh, demonstrated uh, some mediator's techniques. Hmm. So uh, I hope that it will be uh, a good work for the, uh, yes, for, for the ADR market. Can people uh, find links to all of your books on your website if they wanted to buy them? Yes, yes. www.conflictresolution.it This is the, the website in English. Uh, if you want to go to the website of my company, is but it's in Italian, and you can find some uh, some brochure in English. It's www.concilia.it you say concilia, yes, but do, in yeah. Italy we say concilia, concilia because the C is the, the C. Okay, so okay. But if you want to 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 have notices and uh, to want to be updated uh, about the activity in English of concilia, you can check to www.conflictresolution.it. So it's uh, so. Let's talk yeah, about uh, your work with an organization called Gem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm one of the founder of the Italy chapter of GEM. GEM is the Le Grand Open du Magistrat pour la Médiation. I'm sorry for my French. <laughs> I hope the pronunciation is good. And it's a group uh, of magistrates all around Europe organized in chapters. Um, so I am one of the few lawyers among all these judges. So you, you know that I need to move very uh, slowly, mm -hmm. and I need to react very slowly because if not, they say, "Ah, but you are a lawyer. <laughs> we are judges." So, no, 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 never mind. By the way, I'm joking. Uh, this important organization uh, was created under the French law, 
Uh, so it's based in Paris. The headquarter is based in Paris. The court, the court, the cassation uh, in Paris, mm. and was created in order to create uh, knowledge in order to spread the notice of mediation and civil, commercial, criminal, uh, family, uh, all over judges in every jurisdictions. We have a delegation uh, from Canada, uh, for instance, so uh, uh, abroad. But generally speaking, we are divided in chapter, and I uh, created with many, many other uh, good people uh, the Italian section. If you want to go to the to the uh, information, if you want to have some information more, you can check www.gem. This is wrote G E W M E dot E U, and you can find the subsections of every uh, chapter. Uh, this is one of my engagements in European uh, bodies, but as you know, I have uh, other important uh, organization uh, in, in my heart and in my, in my brain, you know, uh, because I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm the creator uh, of Mediators Beyond Borders Italy chapter, mm. and I was nominated by the board of directors that uh, during uh, two years two years ago uh, was uh, directed by the, the friends Kenneth Cloak mm. that you have interviewed uh, some some weeks ago, and um, moreover, uh, yeah, I'm a member of the and board. Of, I'm, I'm a member, uh, uh, founding member of the uh, Conference Internationale de la Mediation pour la Justice, so International Conference of uh, Mediation for Justice, mm -hmm. that is parallel to GEM. Mm -hmm. So it's an association, international association based in France and in Canada, uh, of lawyers and uh, more of judges uh, for the Yes, for the notice of mediation, for the advertising of mediation all over uh, the world. And moreover, I am a part of the panels of many, many ADR, uh, ADR uh, bodies all over uh, Europe, like the London Court of International Arbitration, Young International Arbitration Group, or the Swiss Arbitration Association, mm. or the International Center of Dispute Resolution, so the ICDR, Young and International, and so on. So <laughs> I don't want to you <laughs> to make all the notes <laughs> of my accreditations, yeah. All right, but so I mean, I'm very proud uh, to be IMI certified because I think that the quality in mediation has to be guaranteed by a third body. Uh, as you may know, uh, the International Mediation Institute is not a mediation provider. Right. So uh, this quality to be not a mediation provider is the, the best quality to provide for quality. I'm sorry about the words, but no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a joke of words, but it's like this. So um, at my, uh, for my opinion, uh, if you are IMI certified, you can be uh, yes, very uh, transparent and you can be very sure that your clients can uh, find uh, yes uh, an high quality mediator so it's a uh, it's uh, very important for the clients do you happen to have any advice or suggestions uh, for new or even experienced mediators who are interested in international mediation and dispute resolution work uh, good question <laughs> uh, first of all uh, humility hmm. Humility, because when when I was uh, a child in mediation, so when I approached uh, mediation market in 1996, uh, I was a university student in that period. Uh, yes, I, I attended many many seminars, many many conferences, and during uh, this uh, yes these years uh, in the past. I, I felt like to be very um, prepared, very well prepared. And uh, when I uh, tried the first mediations, uh, the problem problems arose, you know, because uh, you need to be uh, very calm and very humble. And uh, another important suggestion that I found I find necessary is that you need to know the personality. Uh, of the parties 
that you will mediate or you will try to mediate. Because many, many times uh, I, I, I find uh, mediators in my organization or when I check uh, students at the university, uh, I find uh, mediators that, uh, can, that think that every person or every party in front of them uh, are, is the same. Yeah. And so they, uh, they do not check the personality, they do not check their feelings before uh, in order to create a certain sort of state of mind uh, to because you, you don't have in mediation only a key it's not a passepartout key mm. but you need to open uh, their heart and you need to open their mind you need to open uh, in a word their life in order to create the perfect solution for them in that problem or in that problematic situation so to do this, you need to work very hardly before the starting of a mediation. Mm. Uh, not also with papers, so with the sheets that the party, with the papers that the parties uh, give to you, or the organization, uh, the ADA provider give to you because uh, you are the mediator. But you need to reflect if you can. In Italy, is not uh, allowed. But if you can, you need to phone to the party before, in order to make, uh, to, to yes, to load the distance, mm. and in order to create a climax of uh, uh, trust or a climax of uh, uh, yes, uh, joy between you and the parties. So, uh, one word to close: humility. You need to be so sorry. Three words: humility. Preparation. So you need to be very, very prepared, and you need to know the parties, not also the problem. Excellent. Well, I've taken up a lot of your time today, so I appreciate you coming on the show. But I have two more questions to ask. Questions that I ask yeah. all of my guests. Now, the first one is: Can you think of one or two people in the dispute resolution field uh, who you feel have inspired you or had the biggest impact on your career? <laughs> Another good question. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I cannot. Uh, so I, I don't have a, a top ten or a top three or a top two uh, because uh, during my uh, my uh, mediation life, my professional life, I had the fortune. Uh, I was very uh, uh, yes lucky to uh, to meet many many professionals in this field uh, with their humility, with their um, professional uh, te uh, technologies they uh, they uh, trained me uh, very very much but if I am constricted if I'm obliged to uh, to, to to say to you uh, some names I cannot uh, yes I need to say that uh, one of these is William Yuri mm -hmm. William Yuri is one of the, 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 the well-known uh, trainer all over the world but for me it was uh, like uh, an inspiration, you know, uh, because he is smiling uh, all the day. He is thinking not also about the yes, but also about the positive no. So uh, the the reverse of the medal, no, the the, the black side of the medal. Uh, and for me, he was a uh, uh, father in the dispute resolution. Another important person that I can say. Uh, that I, I find on my route is uh, Kenneth Cloak. Mm. Ken Cloak uh, is an inspiring person. Uh, when I uh, when I saw him, when I met him first time in the first time in Geneva during a Jam Congress, a seminar. Sorry, uh, we uh, so I had the uh, the necessity to meet him and to present myself to him in order to create. I, I didn't know what, but a contact, mm. because he's a very inspiring person. And after this uh, meeting, uh, you know that I was uh, nominated the president of the Italy chapter of Mediators Beyond Borders. Um, the third person I need to nominate, and I need to remember, uh, he's a extremely perfect mediator. Uh, she is Jacqueline Morino. Jacqueline Morino is uh, an old person, a uh, French person. She is uh, well known all over the world, especially for, he, for her work on family and social mediation. And one of, his, one of her books 
is can be compared uh, to uh, so uh, can be considered the Bible or uh, perfect mediator. So l'esprit de la médiation, the spirit of mediation, hmm. and for me, these three persons uh, changed my life uh, because if I uh, didn't uh, meet them, uh, maybe uh, my on my route. Uh, I, I couldn't see. I, I could see only uh, the profession of a lawyer, you know. So uh, I, I was changed very much by them. Uh, but uh, I have many, many friends all over the world uh, that I uh, that, that inspired me in my my work and that are inspiring my work till now. One of one of for all is my good friends from Texas, Jeffrey Abrams, that is a perfect commercial full-time mediator and arbitrator, and she is like a father for me. So uh, I had nominated four person of my life that I keep very, very uh, in contact with my heart and with my brain, and uh, when I can uh, have some free time or they can have some free time we are in contact in order to 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 to, to be more inspired for for the future just for me not for them <laughs> naturally but but is a very uh, uh, i had created a very important family apart from my family that i love my my wife and my parents but a perfect family in mediation they are not also not not only colleagues but they are Fathers, mothers, cousins, brothers, and it's incredibly, uh, it's an incredibly uh, sensation and feelings that uh, I cannot explain entirely, but I tried to you. Thank you very much. Well, as Alessandro, again, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Now, do you have any upcoming training programs, workshops, speaking engagements, or anything you'd like to uh, promote or mention before we wrap things up? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for this uh, question. Uh, yeah, um, we uh, we are in connection uh, with many many trainers all over uh, the world. Uh, one day, once you uh, came in Italy, uh, they uh, yes, they telephone us and they say, do you want to sponsorize uh, or do you want to 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 be the main sponsors or do you want to organize uh, our event? And we say yes, yes, because we, you know uh, we don't want to be considered an ADR Italian provider. Provider, mm. But we want to be considered uh, one of the uh, ADR provider used both nationally and internationally mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the two uh, activities. So for uh, consultancy and for training. Um, yeah, uh, I can say that on, uh, on May of this year, the 24 of May, uh, we will uh, host uh, with other colleagues Robin Sharma. In Italy, with this seminar uh, called uh, "Leadership Without Leader Without a Leadership," so he will be here in Italy, in Vicenza, uh, in, uh, in in a great location, Vicenza Fair. So uh, it, we are expecting uh, many, many hundreds of people, um, like in the past, because on October the last year we hosted. Um, William Uri uh, in Vicenza too, and it was a glamorous success for him, for us, and for all the uh, the, the people, uh, all the professionals. Um, another important seminar we are organizing uh, that it will be maybe it will be uh, divided into parties because the first seminar will be held in all April of this year, in Florence. Um, but I, I cannot say uh, the now uh, the the. Yeah, the date because we are organizing uh, with Kenneth Cloak that he, he will be he will be in Italy uh, not for the first time naturally and uh, we will have a seminar uh, with him. But the big uh, and the grand event of uh, Kenneth Cloak maybe uh, it will be on the next year. So 2040, 2014 uh, we will held we will uh, organize another important event with Kenneth Cloak and this time it will be uh, yes uh, more uh, intense uh, and I hope that it will be a success but I, I'm sure because Kenneth is a you know is a uh, yes it's an inspiring person so uh, when he move he move well all around the world um, by the way, uh, 
we are speakers of the UIA World Mediation Forum uh, that, as you know, uh, it is organized uh, one, one, one time a year, mm -hmm. approximately, in a European capital. So uh, if you want to be updated about our activities, you need to check them uh, to the www.conflictresolution.it. Uh, the same website I gave you uh, before, and you will be, and the audience will be updated about our activities. Uh, so, and I can say that uh, we are uh, uh, always in favor to reply to every email uh, came from all over the world. So, if you have any question, or if the audience have any question about mediation in Italy, apart from to buy my book, <laughs> apart from this, you can email us. Uh, the email is very simple: concilia at concilia dot it. So it's very very simple. Excellent. Now, as he mentioned, if you want more information about Alessandro or Concilia, I'll get that right, uh, their services or Perfect. yeah, there you go, uh, and training programs, be sure to visit that website, conflictresolution.it. You can also go to concilia.it. Either way, depending on how good your Italian is. Now, if you enjoyed this episode or know someone else who might, please share this with them. Now, a quick reminder that audio-only episodes of the show are now available so you can listen on the go. You you can listen on the Stitcher radio app on your smartphone. You can subscribe directly on iTunes, and you can also listen or download episodes directly from our website now. Now, I also encourage you to subscribe to our email list so you never miss an episode of the Conflict Specialist Show. You can sign up now for free on our website, conflictshow.com. See you next time.